Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, so this is a shortened baseball season, as we know, 60 games instead of 162. And you're still seeing some dominant performances by either pitchers or offensive players. And in an abbreviated sense, but if you project it outward, it's crazy. And you got your usual suspects, your Fernando Tati, superstar Mike Trout, you know, um, Manny Machado, you know, Mitch Moreland, uh, Luke Voigt. You know, guys like that, they're just putting up crazy numbers. Um, but I don't know if you noticed, but some of the top performers this year um, are the old guys. Yeah, the old guys, 37, 38, and I'm 40 years old. And to their credit, you know, I want I want to recognize them in today's video. That's what the, that's what the video is, uh, today's video is about, the old timers, okay, the old farts, whatever you want to call them. Um, Still putting up numbers, whether it's pitching or offense, and I think that's awesome. Okay, and I'm just going to give you, you know, a um, little sample size here of all the research. Um, you know, one of them is uh, five and one with a 2.87 ERA, with eight game eight games started, 44 strikeouts. You project that outward, you know, you're looking at you know 15 and four, something like that, maybe 14 and four, 13 and four. At 40 years, 39 years old, that's pretty damn good. Okay, you don't get many guys putting up those types of numbers at 39, 40. Okay, you know, you got another one, 30, uh, 16 home runs, 32 RBIs. It's almost leading the league, 323 batting average. Okay, nuts. Okay, um, you know, 172 ERA coming out of the bullpen in over 15 games. That's pretty dominant as well. I'll take a 1.72 ERA. Okay, how old you are? Okay. And we got a 318 batting average, seven home runs, 21 ribbies, you know, 530 slugging percentage. You experience. again, extrapolate it outward. You're looking at 20, you know, 20 home runs, like 75 RBIs. Pretty damn good. That's a pretty, you know, that's good for your average player. I mean, you're, you're more, you're above average player. Um, four and oh, with a point zero point six four ERA. Okay, Hunt, uh, 14 innings pitched. 19 strikeouts. The average is more than a strikeout in the night. Okay, in 16 games, you got two, two and one, 3.3.81 ERA in six games, 26 innings pitched, 22 strikeouts. So you're seeing solid numbers here across the board. Okay, um, you know one of them. I'm sure it's probably obvious, but one of these guys had just hit his 660th home run, tying Willie Mays for fourth all time. Okay, and guess what? He was drafted. He was the 402nd pick in the draft, okay, in the 13th round, okay, yeah, do we know who it is, and I, and, and I didn't even mention some other guys, but I'm talking about guys that right now who are still up there, and I could mention Miguel Cabrera, who's not on this list, and some of those guys like that, obviously, he's going to be first ballot Hall of Famer, um, the, uh, Max Scherzer, but he's still, he's not at 39, 40 years old yet, yeah, neither is Justin Verlander, but Justin Verlander's hurt, okay, um, but those stats that I just mentioned are this year, 2020 stats, okay, who are they? Okay, here we go. You know, who's got the two and one? Let me put this up. Put it up like here. Okay, who's two and one? Who's got the, the three point eight ERA? Rich Hill from the Minnesota Twins, forty years old. Okay, Robinson Cano has the three eighteen batting average and the five thirty slugging average percentage. Okay, seven homers, twenty one RBI, still solid for thirty seven. And he's had like, obviously he was busted a bunch of years ago for for for, for HGH or steroids or something, and he was had a rough um, transition coming on, over to the Mets, but he's re he's found the stroke again. Okay, Nelson Cruz, this guy dominates every year. He's the one with sixteen home runs and thirty two RBIs. Okay, again, extrapolate this out. He's got three twenty three average. He's also forty. Twins have two forty year old guys dominating on both sides. Okay, that's impressive. Okay. Again, extrapolate this out. You're looking at a 50 home run season and 100 and something, 130 RBIs. That's freaking good for a 40 year old. Adam Wainwright from the Chicago, from the St. Louis Cardinals. He's 39. He's five and one with a 2.87 ERA. You don't see many dudes doing that at 39. Okay. Pujols is the one who hit his 660th, 660th home run. Albert Pujols. Stats aren't crazy sexy this year. He had a little bit of injury issues, but four homers and 22 RBIs. But again. Drafted in the 13th round, 402nd pick. Just goes to show you that not every first round pick is a surefire, surefire guarantee, and not every 13th round pick is doomed to fail. Mike Piazza was drafted this low, and he's a Hall of Famer. Pujols is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. So credit to Pujols, okay? And he's part of, you know, a team that should be better, but he's part of a really dynamic lineup. 
Oliver Perez. He was kind of disappeared off the face of the earth for a couple of years, but he, he, you know, he, he had an MVP kind of candidacy, and I think it was a 2005 or 2006. He pitched really, really well, and then kind of was a journeyman. But now he's back with Cleveland in the bullpen. He's 39 years old, got a 1.72 ERA. Okay, I don't know where the hell Oliver Perez was for the last couple of years, but he's back. Okay, and last one, Darren O'Day, okay, from Atlanta, 37 years old. He's the one that's got a .64 ERA. He's 4-0 with a .64, okay? That's crazy. 14 innings pitched, 19 strikeouts, and 16 games, okay? And then nationally, just think about the guys that he's facing. You know, he's facing some pretty tough bats, okay? And it's that's really impressive to have a .64 ERA, just as Oliver Perez having a 1.72 ERA. And even, even though players aren't, you know, teams aren't playing everybody, you know, he's facing the Chicago White Sox on a regular basis. That lineup is like murderer's row, okay? And he's still putting up those numbers. That's impressive. Really, really impressive. Okay? So, that's my list today. My seven old-timers who are still killing it. Still crushing it. Okay? I wanted to give them credit. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up. And by the way, if it's your first time to the channel, welcome. And I hope you enjoy videos like this. If you do, please hit the subscribe button. And please hit the bell next to it in case you want to watch more videos. I put out two every week. And take a look at the 100 plus that I have out already. And in the description down below, you'll find a couple of awesome, a couple of great videos for you to watch as well. Uh, for my regulars, thank you so much. And again, even if you don't plan on subscribing, hitting that thumbs up would mean a great deal. And it would really, really be helpful to the channel's growth. So I ask that you do that. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Be safe, and I'll talk to you next time.